Hi, I'm Lisa Bloom. And I'm Sarah Bloom. And we are attorneys at The Bloom Firm. Our law firm represents victims of discrimination, harassment, and abuse, and we want you to know your rights. Today, I'm talking about coronavirus discrimination. As soon as this pandemic started, we started getting calls from workers who felt that they were being victimized or treated differently because they were had coronavirus or their bosses thought they did. And we took on what I think is the first nationwide case of coronavirus discrimination. How would you define coronavirus discrimination? So that would be discrimination against somebody because they are perceived to have been exposed or to actually have the virus or even have the disease COVID-19. And I believe that that was wrong and that was a form of discrimination. So when I looked into the case here in California, my first thought was, Perhaps this is discrimination based on medical condition because that's illegal under California law. However, medical condition is very narrowly defined as only some conditions like cancer. So it really didn't apply. But then we looked at the disability laws and I think we have a clear case for coronavirus discrimination being a form of disability discrimination. A disability is something that affects a major life function like breathing. And even if that function of breathing is only affected for a couple of days, that counts as a disability under California law. And your employer cannot discriminate against you or harass you uh, if you have a disability. So what if a worker doesn't have coronavirus, but their coworkers think they do? Are they still protected? Yes, and that's a very good question. And that's actually what happened in our case. It's a case of perceived disability discrimination because our client who was a healthcare worker, not given the proper protective gear, was exposed to coronavirus. He was then sent home by management, that's appropriate. And then the next day, fired, not appropriate, illegal. And it turns out he tested negative, thank goodness, uh, for the coronavirus. So he never even have it, had it, but he was perceived as having had it. And this reminds me of the early days of the AIDS epidemic. When I first started practicing law in the 1980s, and I did cases of AIDS discrimination. And at that time, many employers were concerned about gay men, and gay men were perceived as having AIDS and were discriminated against on that basis. And we were able to argue that is a perceived uh, disability discrimination and tried to help some people back then. Well, now I'm, I'm pleased to say the law is much better and it's much stronger to protect people against disability discrimination or even perceived disability discrimination. So what should people do if they're a victim of this coronavirus discrimination? So you should stand up for your rights. Uh, sometimes people think, gee, we're in the middle of this pandemic, everything is upside down. And it is, but I'm here to say that the laws are still in place and they strongly protect workers. Uh, some states better than others, but nationwide disability discrimination is illegal. Where we primarily practice in California and New York, there are very good, strong state laws to protect you. So what you should do is, first of all, if you're a victim of any kind of discrimination, harassment, or retaliation, at work, you should do a written complaint to human resources. Just leave out any other issues at work that you might be having. Just put those aside for the moment. And in your complaint to HR, say very clearly what happened to you. That will then create a legal obligation for your employer to do a prompt, thorough investigation, get to the bottom of what happened, talk to you, talk to others, and resolve it. Sometimes that does resolve it, and good on those employers who do take the right action. Sometimes it doesn't, and that's when you should reach out to an attorney. Most attorneys who practice in the area of the law that we do will give you a free confidential consultation, and we certainly do. So I would say to anybody who is, uh, thinks that they might be the victim of coronavirus, discrimination, or harassment, reach out. The time deadlines are very short, sometimes as short as six months, so you don't want to miss those time deadlines. The facts, who, what, when, where, what happened, reach out to an attorney. We are happy to talk to you and let you know what your rights are. So thanks to everybody uh, for watching. Uh, Sarah and I are working from our separate homes. All of our attorneys at the Bloom Firm are fully operational. Uh, we've been working remotely uh, very effectively for weeks and we're happy to help you out if you have any legal problems. Stand up for your rights. The law is here to protect you. Stay strong and stay safe, everybody.